so guys today we have another discrete mathematics problem so find the least sum of a plus b plus c plus d plus e plus f where a b c d e and f are numbers so they're uh, different sorry there are different numbers sorry different numbers one two of the mind and when a times b times c is equal to d times e times f so what do we do now okay just so okay so because we know that they are whole numbers we can use and as i said this is a discrete mathematics problem so we'll probably use prime factorization just just saying uh, so we'll start with We'll sort of think about this. Okay, so which numbers can we rule out that A, B, C, like no uh, variable can't have? So if you think about this, seven, can seven be on either side of this equation for it to hold when all are integers? Well, no, because there's only one multiple of seven, which is seven. So then we'll have that one has a can be prime factored as something times seven and the other side can't and therefore they can't be the same number because it's only integers we're dealing with so okay we have that seven we cannot use is there there any other number yes there is it's five exactly the same thing five is a prime number and we can only and there's only one of them so one side can only have the prime factored five and therefore they can't be the same so uh so then we'll just so th this is all because like one two three four everything is a is a, somehow a multiple of another um so okay so we'll just start with the worst case scenario or th sorry think about this first how many here now we have the integers which are like alone with primes and no other number has a factor of them in uh now let's think about this okay so we have the number nine it's three times three so if, if nine is on one side of the equation ta nine times something times something is equal to what has to be on the right hand side well we know that since nine is three times three and we only have two other multiples of three, which is three and six, and they also only contain one three each. Then for, so if we have two threes over here, then we have two threes over there. So we have to have that that is three times six times something. And now we don't have that many numbers left. So this is, of course, we're just ruling out when we have a nine, right? So, okay, we have that uh, nine, three times six that's 18 so you have that this is two more so we have that this thing times two is supposed to be equal to that times that or this times that um so now we'll just we'll just think this through okay so we, if we put a one here then we have that some number times some number is supposed to be equal to two and that is only two for one times two and we've already used one so that can't be the case uh, if we have a two here, then we have that something times something is supposed to be four, and we're not allowed to use two, uh, which makes perfect sense. We can use, we can put a four here. Have four? Sorry, a two. <laughs> we have a two here, and then we have a one times four here. So that that makes perfect sense. And uh, what other cases do we have? We can write. Uh, we can do this again. Five times three times six times something. Uh, so if instead of two, we can use a uh, four which works perfectly fine because then we have just one and eight. So we have four and then one times eight. Uh, and now we can't do anything else because if we have, we can't use three. And if we put a four there, so yeah, that's what we did. We can use a five, we can't use six, we can use seven. If we put an eight and something times something is supposed to be 16 and we're not allowed to use eight. So the only options would be like four and two, which makes eight. So no, that, that will happen. So this is all our cases with nine. We've completely exhausted uh, the number nine here. Okay, so uh, 
Okay, so now we'll think about this instead. Okay, so see, we have nine numbers that we can choose from. We're supposed to choose six, and we have ruled out two. So in both of these, there is only one integer which we're not using. In this, it's eight. In this, it's two. So we can just start by counting backwards. So okay, if we have if we have nine, then we have to have uh, three and six, and we know that this that case works. Um, if we sorry, okay, the opposite is if we if we don't have a nine, what happens then? I can write it over here. Then we have know that the three and six have to be on. Uh, opposite sides, so we have six, six times something times something. And we know that the only integers left we can use is one, two, four, and eight. Yes, sorry, one, two, four, eight. Yeah, exactly. We can only use uh, one, two, four, and eight here. So, as this, this is times two already, um, and we have four numbers we need to distribute. So we have that something times something is supposed to be equal to two times the other two. And we're only supposed to, be, to choose between one, two, four, and eight. So if I just, for uh, the sake of experiment, I put an eight over here, then we have that this thing times four is supposed to be equal to that times that. And that can't be the case, because if we have a one here, we have that, okay, some things have, yeah, exactly, if we have a one here, we have two times four is left. So that's that's eight, so it doesn't work. And then we have, if we have two here, then we have four times one, which is, this is eight, and then that is four. And then if we have four here, we have 16, and 16 is absolutely not the same as two times one. So this cannot be the case. Uh, we can try the, we put the eight on the other side. Uh, we have three times is six times eight times something. But then this shit just gets worse because then we know that this thing times, oh, what's, uh, well, it's times 16. It's supposed to be this times that. So if we have a one here, we have two and four. Yeah, we still have one, two, and four left. So we have, uh, yeah, it's one times, one times 16 is not equal to two times four. And well, in the other case, it just gets worse. So this cannot be the case. So what have we shown? We have shown that these are all the cases where we have a and where we don't have nine, it doesn't work. So therefore, these are all the cases possible. And if we add all these here, we get that nine plus one plus four plus three plus six plus two, that's 25. What the fuck, I can't write. Uh, and the other goals for this, so we have nine plus one plus eight plus three plus six plus, wait, nine plus one plus eight, plus 3 plus 6 plus 4, that's 31. Uh, I'm not, yes, exactly, because we're changing a, a 2 for an 8, so it should be plus 6, yeah. So this is our answer. It's 25. That is the least possible sum for A, B, C, D, E, and F. And I hope this was not too confusing, but I get uh, if it was, but uh, that was all for me. Bye-bye.